Hey, what's up guys? It's Dan from Owasso PC and Electronics. Gonna do another repair video for you today. Uh, this one is going to be the, uh, we're gonna put a new digitizer on this RCA Voyager 3 uh, little seven inch tablet. I've done a bunch of these. You guys, these are super simple. I started the repair kind of, but uh, decided to do the video. So um, pretty simple and I don't have half my tools ready, but let's do this. Uh, here on the bottom of the charger port side, you're going to see a couple of Phillips screws. I'm going to pop those off. This is uh, one of the easier tablets. Almost all of these cheap RCA tablets are super simple. Um, a lot better than working on some of like the Samsung ones. I mean, you can be in and out of this quick. If you're a repair shop like me, uh, I charged... In this example, I actually only charged $40 because I can buy this tablet for $60. Now, there's other repair shops out there that would uh, charge $60, $70 um, to do this repair. And you know what? Depending on the content of this, you know, if somebody's got a bunch of photos, especially if you've got to get in here and do the LCD, some people just really want that content back. So some people may be more willing to pay more for it but for me it's a quick repair and um you know and it's a cheap tablet so these like i said these things can be picked up 50 60 dollars on ebay uh you know so it's for me i can't really charge that much unless somebody's coming in here in a suit and tie talking about they need it fixed anyway so i don't know why i don't have a spudger sitting here Usually I would have all the tools around, but okay. Fine. All right, so any more screws on here? Nope, no more screws. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend this unless you've done a million devices like I have. I don't happen to have a spudger handy, so I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna use this carpenter knife. And so I'm going to tell you that you shouldn't do that. But I'm going to do it to get it started. And basically, all you got to do is reach in the side here, and there's going to be a couple of tabs. And once you've popped those tabs, just keep working your way down the side. If you're like me and using a razor blade, even though I said not to, um, just be super careful you don't have to put any pressure on it so you don't have to um you know definitely don't cut the plastic so we've got this side popped free and if you add a little pressure with your hands like this get it open then you can a little bit easier to pop around the corner There's one, sorry, two. Once you have two sides, it's usually a lot easier to pull the back cover off. I do wanna say real quick that when you get to this point on a lot of RCA tablets, and luckily it wasn't the case with this one, but a lot of times right here where the speaker mesh is, a lot of times the speaker's glued to it, so when you get to this point, you need to, to kind of open like this and look for that. <clears throat> and if that's the case, sometimes you'll have to use a spudger tool and get, and get that speaker off there. Um, but that wasn't the case with this one, so. So then we're down like this. We have to gut this thing down to the mid-frame, and the mid-frame on this is plastic. Uh, so we don't wanna put any, any strong you know, pressure on this. Um, so let me just look at where the screws are on here. There's a couple of them up in here. There's one here, there's one here, here. And it looks like that's all that's holding that in. So the first thing is disconnect the battery. Now we know it's off. I'm gonna disconnect this. This is the LCD, the LCD ribbon cable. And this one would be the digitizer ribbon cable. So then we'll take these screws out. I really, really am in the works of, <clears throat> on the back side of this wall behind me, 
getting a little bit better studio going where I can show you guys these repairs a little bit better. And that should be coming in the next month or so. So sorry, sorry. This wall, the whole wall's new. This I've been in here for quite a while in this building and um, I'm just now kind of getting things looking the way I want them. So, okay, once that's loose, you've got this um, this little wire down here, this gray wire. This is your Wi-Fi antenna. So you wanna, you don't necessarily have to remove that. Um, I'm going to in this example. And the speaker, the speaker needs to be popped out of this uh, retaining clip. Again, you don't really have to. You could actually do the next step without doing that, but I'm just gonna do it for, uh, I don't know, my own OCD way of doing things, I suppose. So I'm going to break the speaker free from the glue. What kind of glue is that? Okay, so the speaker's free. So we got this whole thing flopping around. I'm going to set this down. You probably won't be able to see it. But down here, let me see what I can do. Down here in this corner where that black tape is, I'm just going to use the razor blade. And I'm not going to use this one. I got, I've got a, a loose blade. I'm actually just going to pry right under it real careful so that we don't screw the Wi-Fi signal up later. So pry that off in just a second. Half of this thing is a sticker and the other half is a circuit that um, does your Wi-Fi. Sorry, I thought a customer was coming in. That's the other thing about wanting the studio is I won't have to worry about the customers. Somebody else can be up here at the counter and I can do these videos and not worry about it. Okay, so everything's free. So we've got that off. Now we're down to the LCD and the battery. This part, if you look around here, there's just, just like before, there's just clips. One, two, three on one side. Looks like one on the bottom, but it looks like that speaker um, thing holds it in, so we might have to pop those out um, on, the top, on this here and down here, and then slide it out this way. So let me see what we got going on here. This is the part, you know, if any, to be careful. Because you don't want to replace the LCD too if you don't have to. That's going to add 10 bucks to the repair. The cool thing with this model is that these things are like dime a dozen cheap for parts. Um, I think I picked up the new digitizer for like 7 or $8 through a distributor that I use frequently. Um... If you can't, if you don't have a normal place that you use, eBay is always a really good option for these. I think they were around the same price on eBay. Once you get those main six, I wouldn't even worry about these bottom two. When you get those main six, you can just lift it right like that. So now we've got the screen off. Uh, if you can avoid it, just go ahead and don't touch this so you don't get your fingerprints on it. So... Uh, this is the part now where we've got the mid-frame and now we're going to have to heat this up. So I'm actually going to do this probably in a two-part video because um, I don't really have much other option, I guess. I don't have the heater on right now. So, but at this point, if you watched any of my other videos, uh, you know the process from here. Heat this up. Be very careful. You can stick this in a corner. Let me just see what kind we got. Actually, this is gonna work perfect. We don't even need it. Um, I was hoping this was the case, but sometimes with RCA, they use a different adhesive. But this is one of the good ones. So we're gonna be quite all right.
So the trick is, um, usually, if you can, and that's probably the worst place I could have started this. Um, if we come, I'm going to come up here away from any cabling up in this corner where the camera lens is, where there's no breakage for uh, a few, like, you know, an inch or two. A lot of times on the RCA ones, this upper area on the digitizer is actually just a sticker. And I'm trying to show you that. It's actually just a sticker. And if you can get under that sticker with your razor, then you can pull it back just a little bit. And then, if you can get the corner of your razor under the glass, enough where you can stick um, a playing card in there. Then all you've got to do, watch this. I think we're going to be good right now. Okay, so, as you can see, I'm all the way through, right? So the trick from here out, just like in my other videos, is you can take a playing card, or I, you can keep going with a razor if you're comfortable, but most people just don't trust it. I'm trying to be quick. i got a customer coming in, but... Typically at this point, set it on the heater, uh, heat it up a little bit, wiggle this thing around, go all the way around, this will pop right off. The new one comes with adhesive, you pop it right back on. So um, take your time, go slow. This glass, when it's spider webbed like this, it will flake at your eyes. So wear, you know, eye protection. And uh, all right. Looks like that's good.